yes, my rent really is $3,000 a month. Well, close to $3,000 a month. Hey, what's up guys? It's Justine with Debt Free Millennials, the channel to help you crush debt and live a debt-free life. If you are new to the channel, click to subscribe so that you can learn how to eliminate debt and start living the life that you truly love. And that's exactly where I'm at today and why I wanted to talk about my crazy high rent. I had posted on my Instagram stories a while back that my rent has gone up again. Now, I am currently paying $2,780 per month in rent, just rent. That does not include any utilities, any other living expenses, and I put a poll on my stories and I said, am I crazy for paying this much? And the majority said, yeah, that's way too high. But here's the thing, and here is how I'm justifying why I'm spending so much in rent. Um, one, I'm debt free and I can do what I want with my income. And while I, I see a lot of influencers and people in this space really saying, you know, live small so that you can achieve financial independence later on. And also, you know, my happiness levels are dictated by where I live. And Kyle and I have been in San Diego for four years now, and we absolutely love being in this city. And part of living in such a beautiful city is it comes with a price tag. A lot of people say, that's the sunshine tax. So yes, we're paying the sunshine tax. Another reason I'm comfortable with paying this amount is, well, we're getting a lot of bang for our buck. We are in a great location. We're in a building that has a ton of amenities. We have a gym. We have a pool. We have a hot tub. We have access to monthly social gatherings that are put on by our HOA. Um, we have a really great outdoor patio so that we can enjoy the weather. I feel like people who come to San Diego and then and skimp on their apartment that doesn't have outdoor space it's like what was the point <laughs> being in San Diego means like you should be outside so we have wonderful outdoor space we also have a separate bedroom so that we can have guests come over that was really important to us since we are both from the Midwest we have a lot of friends and family back home and we want them to come see us so an extra bedroom specifically for guests was really important and we have all of that and that all comes into the price tag of our rent we also have a storage unit which storage is a premium, right? So we have a storage unit for all of our extra stuff, all of our Christmas stuff, and then we have two parking spots. We rent out the second parking spot currently because we only have one car. So that is a way, if you wanna take a look at this, you can say, all right, the 2780 minus, I think we're charging, I think we're charging $150 a month for this parking spot. Parking is also a premium because it's in a garage. So it's a secured garage, which makes it really safe and it comes at a premium. So you could su subtract that from our rent. And so you're looking at what, 2630 a month all in. Now, when we started, when we first moved into this unit, we were paying 2695 a month. So that was Four years ago, we were paying $26.95, and now four years later, we're paying $27.80. So almost a $25 per year increase since we moved in. So if you can strike a deal with your landlord to do a long-term lease, which we've done, um, to help with the rise of rent prices, absolutely do it. Um, actually, I was reading a report from Zillow that the median rent price in San Diego for a one bedroom, one bedroom apartment that's 665 square feet is $1,800 a month. That might be more than some of your mortgages. Comment below if that is more than your mortgage payment or more than your rent payment outside of San Diego. I'm guessing it is. Another reason why I'm okay with spending so much in rent is that 
I don't have enough for a down payment yet for a house. That's a big goal of mine to buy our first home and I want to be smart about it. I don't want to go into this house poor and then I can't afford anything or I can't afford my mortgage payment. So a really decent home in San Diego right now, especially the ones that Kyle and I are looking at, are $650 and up, as in $650,000 for something like a 1,000 square foot home. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. Maybe two if you're lucky. Yeah. So we are currently working on a $70,000 down payment. We have $69,112 at the time of this recording and it's only going to continue to go up. But the thing is, is if our lease ends in April and if we don't have any increases, cross your fingers, we're going to stay another year and continue to build up the down payment. So I'm, I'm okay staying here and paying this because we're getting so much value and so much happiness out of our home. So if you're in a similar situation where you're like, I feel like my rent is really high, but you're debt free or you're working on paying down the debt, but you're, your access to access to your job if you commute access to various places that you like to hang out i think it's really up to you on where you can spend your money at but be mindful of that uh, be mindful of your spending and if this really is too much for you to pay and it's causing more anxiety than happiness then you have to get out end your lease and move on Okay, so those are my justifications for spending nearly $3,000 in rent in San Diego. Um, I know we're kind of crazy, but we absolutely love it here. And I'm curious, my question for you is, how much would you spend on rent if you were debt free? Or if you don't have debt right now, how much would you spend on rent? What, what would be like the top you would go if it had pretty much everything checked off your wish list. Comment below and I guess I'll go ponder to see if I really am crazy for paying this amount of money. Yikes.